I am referring this Adobe help document for configuring AEM with the S3 data store. For this, you need to come to the data store configuration wherein we have a section called Amazon S3 data store. In this, the first thing which we need to configure is the data store S3 data store config PID. Then we have to ensure that from the Adobe repository, we have to download the S3 data store connector. For my AEM 6.5, I am referring 1.10.0. The version has been downloaded already. So this S3 connector contains a set of uh, libraries within the install folder. This folder contains a grant framework. We have another folder which has a set of uh, libraries. In this config folder you can see the S3 data store config file. So we will be using the same file. Then we set up AEM with the S3 data store. Let us go instead the AEM install folder. I have the license file and the jar. In a command prompt, I am going to unzip this. So we have the unpack command. It takes few minutes to unpack the AEM jar file. Okay, the unpack has been done. You can see that CRX start folder has been created. Now what I will do is I will go inside the S3 connector, copy the install folder and place it within the CRX start folder. From the config folder, I will be copying the S3 data store configuration file and I will put it inside the install folder. A set of configuration has to be updated in this file. Let us see what it contains first. Here basically the access key, S3 bucket, S3 region and secret key has to be updated. So I have these details already available. So you see the access key and secret key I got it from the downloaded file in my previous video. S3 bucket and S3 region as you are aware. I had created the bucket in AWS instance. The same details are available here. Once that file is saved, I will go and start the AM instance. So please note there is a special command to start the AM instance. So we need to start AEM with hyphen R, CRX3 tar hyphen no FTS. Since it's a for initial setup, it takes some time. You can see that a repository folder is created now. It contains an index folder and a repository folder wherein a data store. And a segment store folder. The first you can check the system console and ensure the bundles are active and you can see there are set of blob files related to S3 and parallelly you can ensure the error log is having the S3 re related connection information.
Now I will come to the AWS instance and refresh the bucket which is already configured. You can see that a set of new files are getting uploaded. So in the backend what it does is uh, the repository folder data store folder which we have seen a temp file folder has been created there. So all the AEM related uh, repository files are getting pushed from this download folder to the AWS instance. Once the AEM instance is up, you can log in. Notice when you try to log into the AEM instance in the first case, you will be getting error because it takes some time to load the AEM instance completely. But before that, you will be able to access the system console. Now, as you can see, the fresh AEM instance has been up. The data upload is in progress still. This is a backend process. We'll go inside the files folder. You can see this is a fresh vanilla instance. We're just validating whether the data has been uploaded completely. It looks like uh, there is no recent transaction. Now let me create a new folder. I will upload a file. Now AEM will start pushing the file from AEM instance to S3 bucket. Let us go inside the AWS instance and check our folder. You can see that the new file of size 28.5 KB has been created. 